Next up is Antonio Ortega, and he represents Imperial Irrigation District. This is one of the biggest players in what happens at the Salton Sea. Thank you very much, Antonio Ortega. And then we will take a short intermission, and you'll get to see some great photos. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Antonio Ortega, representing Imperial Irrigation District. Uh, I, I do have some slides with me, or a short presentation. Uh, I'm not going to go through these. I think the video uh, does an excellent job and a way better job than I could going through the, uh, the detailed history of the Imperial Valley, of the water rights, of the issues facing uh, the communities of the Imperial County, Riverside County area. Uh, so again, I'll just fast forward through these, but I do have a one minute animation video, uh, which is really why we're all here. Um, the animation will show you at least the projected exposure uh, and really being able to see it uh, in that animation will, uh, I think, paint a better picture than looking at it in terms of uh, how many thousands of acres of exposed lake bed are expected or uh, are, we're expected to, uh, to see in the next 20 years if, if nothing is done. Uh, so, the uh, Imperial Irrigation District is uh, one of the largest irrigation districts in the state of California, uh, maybe the nation. We're also the third largest public power provider uh, for residents who not only live in Imperial County, which is at the far right corner, uh, but also Riverside County. And as you've seen already in the video and the map shows you there, uh, the Salton Sea actually uh, goes into both areas, Imperial and Riverside County. Uh, so again, some of the, the reasons that there's a decline in the water elevation, natural evaporation, reduced water inflows, uh, salinity, uh, algae blooms, and you saw in the video, uh, but also the uh, very important water transfers of uh, 2003 uh, through the quantification settlement agreement. Uh, again, these are very complex uh, agreements that I would spend about uh, probably 12 hours or a whole half day going through uh, each of those. But uh, what's important for, for those of you here today to note is that uh, one of these, uh, one of the requirements of these water transfers was a requirement that for 15 years, uh, the state of California required that the uh, Imperial Irrigation District actually uh, mitigate uh, some of those impacts with water that goes to the Salton Sea today. Uh, that requirement, however, ends at the end of 2017. Uh, so the video animation that I'm going to show you here very soon uh, shows you what will happen after that period, uh, when you are expected to see the very rapid declines in the water elevations, uh, which means that there's a rapid exposure of lake bed. Uh, so representing Imperial Irrigation District, the Board of Supervisors of the, or Board of Directors of IID, uh, but also the Imperial County uh, Board of Supervisors in 2013 uh, came together and signed an MOU where we renewed our commitment to uh, working collaboratively at the local level with not just the community but with stakeholders at the federal, state level, uh, environmental advocacy groups, and anybody else really that, uh, that was interested in this issue. Uh, shortly after that, uh, we unveiled the Salton Sea Restoration and Renewable Energy Initiative, which again, uh, I think the video did an excellent job tying all those things together. Uh, but then in 2014, the Imperial Irrigation District submitted a petition to the State Water Board uh, here in Sacramento, where we asked that the parties not only to the QSA, but that the state and the federal government uh, be reconvened and uh, work together collaboratively to find a uh, a Salton Sea restoration plan that was uh, one that we could fund, uh, but also one that actually uh, would be implemented, unlike the plan from 2007, which you heard had a $9 billion price tag. Uh, so these renewed commitments, uh, I, I think you've seen by, uh, by way of not only the, uh, the governor's office uh, convening a Salton Sea task force in 2015, the State Water Board has maintained its, uh, it has prioritized this issue. They continue to have workshops, quarterly workshops. Uh, they had one, the first one was in March that was attended by many of the residents of the area. Uh, over 250 letters were submitted to, for that workshop, uh, common letters. Uh, just this past 
June, the uh, state authorized $80 million in its budget uh, for projects related to salt and sea restoration. And Bruce mentioned the MOU between the, uh, the federal government and the state of California that was just signed two weeks ago. And actually that same day, President Obama himself made a call to action uh, for salt and sea. So uh, there are things happening. I think this is a, a turning point. Uh, and we're happy that, that we're having this forum here in Sacramento. Uh, thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Ecomedia Compass. Thank you, everybody that's here, because I think he's right. I don't think we've ever had this type of an educa educational forum organized by a local group in Sacramento in our state's capital. So I think it's, it's very important, and thank you all. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go into this uh, one-minute video. So my information is there. Anybody has any uh, questions or would like to send me a follow-up email? Again, just for those of us that live and work in, in these areas, uh, in Peril County, Riverside County, we have residents here from the Salton City area and others. Uh, this is not just an issue of, of the environment and birds. Uh, it's about public health uh, and all of us, again, that, that call it home. So thank you again. So the people that came here today obviously care more than most people we could ever find. And we're so grateful for that. What is one thing from your perspective these people can do to help? So I think I mentioned that the uh, State Water Board uh, has convened or has at least uh, had uh, for the past year uh, has convened workshops here in the state's capital on this issue on November 15th is the next workshop that uh, they have uh, they have scheduled for salt and sea specifically part of uh, their agenda will have an item on this so just continuing to be engaged engaging engaging with the local state assembly member uh, the state senator's office and anybody else uh, really who has a, uh, a responsibility jurisdiction uh, we're all servants of the public, uh, not just IID, the county, uh, but also the folks that represent us here in our state's capital, I think are very important to, uh, for them to know that we care and that we're watching and that we hope that they are uh, answering our calls. Thank you very much.